What's going on guys, Subrash9, and today we are going to learn how to generate custom structures in your Minecraft world using data packs. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the overall goal of this episode is to get a custom structure to spawn naturally within your Minecraft world in a specific biome. What I am planning to do with this tutorial series though, however, is creating an actual complete Minecraft village with jigsaw blocks and creating randomization and how things spawn, etc. So if you're interested in learning all that, make sure that you do subscribe and keep an eye out for the videos that are going to be following this one. So what we need to do is prepare this. So what I'm going to do is in these corners here, put down this void structure block, as you can see. That way, when this spawns in, it's going to mesh in perfectly within our Minecraft world. So I'm going to do that to all of these corners real quick, and I will be right back. All right, so now that that's finished, what we're gonna do is take our structure block and we are gonna throw this down, get this thing into a file so that we can work with it in VS Code. So what I like to do is hit F3, and then in the center of the screen there, you can see the indicator for the X, Y, and Z axis. I like to come to the corner of the structure that matches that and throwing the uh, uh, structure block right here like so. Now what we're gonna do is hit F3 again, go inside the structure block, we're gonna hit save here cycle to save, and then we're gonna start the relative position like so. And what this is going to do is start the bounding box right here on the corner of this block. That way it makes it a lot easier to work with. So now that we're back inside, if I remember correctly, this structure is 11, 11 by 13. Let's double check real quick. We're gonna hit done, the bounding box appears, and it looks like the structure is completely inside of the bounding box box, which is perfect. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to save this into a structure file or an NBT file, I guess you could say. So what we're going to do is I'm going to keep this organized and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm going to call this Epic Villages because we're planning on expanding all on this. And in this world, I have different projects that I'm working on right now. So what this is going to do is inside of the generated folder in this world, is going to create another folder that's called Epic Villages, and then it's gonna save the structure inside of there. So I'm just gonna call this uh, Tori, Tori uh, underscore gate. So this is gonna act as a town center. As every Minecraft village works is they have some sort of town center. So we're gonna use this to start with. So now all we have to do is click save like so, and you can see it says structure saved as Epic Villages Tori gate. So let's go see if we can find this file. All right, so here we are in the files, as you can see. So what we need to do is navigate to our saves. And then this is the build world. So inside of the build world in generated, we should see our Epic Villages folder here. If we click on it and then we go to structures folder, you should see the Tori underscore gate dot NBT. So we know that it's saved properly. So now we can access this file and use it in VS Code. All right, so what we're gonna do is open up Visual Studio Code and you're gonna go to Open Folder. So this should pop up. Now, you wanna navigate to where your Minecraft folder is and accessing your saves. So we're gonna go to our saves here. I'm going to go to Build World and then Data Packs. And then we're gonna click on Epic Village, in my case, the folder that we just created and hit Select Folder. And it's gonna open up just like this. So now that we have the Epic Villages folder created here and it's linked in our VS code, we are going to add some more stuff. So first things first, we are going to add a folder called data. This one's really important. And then if you guys remember from the last tutorial video, we need to create a file on the outside here called pack.mcmeta. This one's also vitally important. Now, I'm gonna copy and paste the JSON file from the last episode. That way we don't have to sit here and type it out, but it should look something like this, pack format 15, this is for Minecraft 120, and then description can be anything. We're just gonna leave it as this default thing right here. So you can change this to whatever you want. So now what we're gonna do is we've got some more stuff that we need to create. So inside of the data folder, we are going to select that and then create another folder. And we are going to name this one, I think Epic, villages again we might as well just keep it all the same and inside of this folder we are going to create two more folders we are going to create one that is called structures this is going to hold all of our structure files and things for our data pack and then back inside of epic villages we need to create another folder called world gen like so 
All right, so now that we have those two, let's start with the structures. So inside of the structures folder, we're gonna create another folder and I'm gonna do this because we're gonna kind of expand on this tutorial and I would like to keep it kind of organized. So this one, I'm gonna call um, village underscore cherry. So this is gonna hold all of our cherry grove structure files that we need to build the, the village, let's say. So um, inside of this one, what we're gonna do is we are going to add another folder called town underscore centers. And this is gonna hold all of our town centers that we're gonna create. So these are gonna be all the structure files. So in this one, now that we have this folder, we can copy and paste the NBT file that we generated earlier of the Tory gate into this new folder so that our data pack can actually access it. So let's go do that real quick. So we wanna navigate back to our Minecraft uh, folders here. We're gonna go into generated, we're gonna go into epic villages, structures, and then we should see our Tory gate here. In my case, I'm going to copy this, and then we are gonna navigate back to um, the build world. And then we're gonna go into data packs. And then inside of data packs, we're gonna go epic village, then we're gonna go data, epic villages, structures, village cherry, town centers, and then we are going to paste our torygate.nbt file right in there. So now we can access it through VS Code in our data pack. So let's go back to VS Code and start working this thing out some more. All right, so now that we're back in VS Code, you can see that the torygate.np or NBT file has been added, so that's good, that is working. So now what we need to do is go inside of the WorldGen folder, and we are going to create a file called template underscore pool. So inside a template pool, pool, we need a file that is called town underscore centers dot JSON, and this is gonna handle all the town centers, which is gonna be nice. So we're just going to copy and paste this, and basically the only things we need to worry about here is the name and the location. That's how we're gonna access our stuffs. So what we need to do for the top part is go epic villages. We need village and then underscore cherry and then a forward slash like so and then town underscore centers. And that is it for that one. So basically what it's doing is navigating to Epic Villages. Then it already knows the structure file. It's looking for a structures, a file called structure. So you don't need to put that in there. And then it's going to go village uh, cherry. And then it's going to go town centers. And then it knows that everything that is inside of here is what it's basically, you know, looking for. So the exact location to spawn this thing um, that it's going to be looking for, we can literally just copy the top part here and paste this down here. And the only other thing we are adding is the actual NBT file we are trying to access. So we are going to add our Tory gate right here. And that is it, that's all we need to do. So that is set up for our town centers JSON file. So now that we have that finished, we wanna go to the world gen folder and make sure that this is underlined. We're gonna create a new folder and this one's gonna be called structure uh, underscore set like so. And inside of this one, we are going to create a, another JSON file that is going to be called, uh, this one we'll just call it village underscore cherry dot JSON. So this is gonna help with the placement and how it spawns randomly within the world. So we're gonna copy and paste this. It should look something like that. The only thing we really have to worry about to get this part to work is inside of the structure quotations here. Now, what some of this stuff does is salt is like the randomization of it. Separation is, I think the amount of chunks don't hold me to that one. And then spacing, I believe is the number of blocks between like each village if they were to spawn near each other type deal. Um, you can find more information on that on the Minecraft wiki. So, you know, if you're, want to know exactly what all of these do, definitely look it up there. So inside of structure, what we're going to do is we just need to navigate to where we have all of our information at basically. Um, so for this, it should just be epic villages and then uh, the colon or semi, it's semicolon, colon, I think it's colon, <laughs> uh, and then village cherry just like so it just needs to access this stuff that's inside of here so it will know like okay you know if we have another folder that has roads in it um inside of village cherry to access all of that information so um that's that for this 
So now that we have all of this created, we are going to create another file inside of WorldGen here. And this is going to be called structure and just straight up structure. I want to make that very clear. I've messed this up in the past. You don't want to add an S on the end or anything like that. Just structure. And then inside of here, you're going to create a file. Now, this is really important because this is what you are going to be using when you run forward slash place or forward slash locate to find your structure within your Minecraft world. So you want to pay attention to what you're naming it here. In this case, we are just going to name it uh, cherry uh, dot JSON json like so and i'm going to copy and paste my um little template in here so the important stuff for us in this beginning tutorial to take note of is number one the top part here biomes this is exactly where you would like to direct where your structure is going to place if you're trying to do it specific in a biome this is where you would do that. Now, there's other things that you can do inside of here, which we'll probably get into in later tutorials on how to make it like check for a list. And you can have, you know, different biomes in there. So you can have the structure spawn into, you know, Badlands. Um, I'm thinking like the bamboo forest, you know, stuff like that. So you can actually create a list and kind of put it in here. Um, but in a separate file, which makes it a lot more cleaner to read, I guess you could say. So we'll get into that later. So in this case, we're only concerned about the cherry growth. So we've got that. And then the other really important part is the start pool. So inside of this quotations is where we need to direct uh, to the end uh, BT files. So in our case, it is going to be do epic villages and then colon. And then we need to do village cherry and then forward slash, in this case, it's gonna to be town centers like so, and this should be good to go. That's all we need to do. Now that we've got all that together, one thing that I didn't notice that I actually did wrong is inside of template pool, we actually need to create another, another folder called uh, village underscore cherry. And this town centers JSON file needs to actually get dragged and placed inside of there. So I'm gonna move that in and it should be something like this. That was my bad, I'm sorry. So with that said, let's see about jumping into Minecraft and seeing if this works. All right, so here we are back in the Minecraft world. Everything loaded up, no errors or anything. So this should work. So what we're gonna do is run off over here into the distance and we are going to try and place this down with the command. If this works, that means that we can naturally spawn it based on what we did in the files there to uh, work inside of natural Minecraft. So if we do four slash place structure, and then we're going to go to Epic Villages colon Village Cherry, we should be able to see all of this. And when we hit enter, we should have that text pop up there. And if we turn around, we should have it. And there it is, beautiful. So we know that it probably is going to naturally spawn within the world now. So with that said, take a look at this. It definitely meshed in perfectly uh, with the void blocks there. It, uh, it switched it out. So it's spawning very nicely here on the Minecraft surface, which is exactly what we want. So without further ado, let's... um try to fire up a Minecraft world with this data pack in there and see if we can locate this structure. So how we're gonna do that is I'm gonna go into single player, I'm gonna create a uh, world that is just gonna be called, I don't know, um, village cherry test. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna put it in creative and allow the cheats because we need that to make sure everything's working correctly. And then uh, data packs, we are, I think it should be good because I've been messing with it, but let's move that over, do open pack full. Oh wait, no, done, do this, proceed. That way we know data packs are going to spawn in when we do this because we're gonna have to go into the files, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna create new world. We're gonna let this generate. All right, so now that the world is loaded up, what we can do is access the files of this world and then copy and paste our data pack in from the build world and then reload this world and we should hopefully have ourselves a Tory gate town center that is going to spawn into this world. So let's do that real quick. All right, so I've exited out of that world. I've come into the files and I've already copied the data pack from the build world. So now what we're gonna do is go to village cherry test and then we should see the data pack folder and then we're just literally going to paste in our data pack here, which is Epic Villages. And we'll just double check, make sure everything looks like it's here and it does. Got that, I've got the Tory gate, so that should be good. Let's back up real quick, we should have these. Okay, so I've seen enough, I think it's good to go. So now what we need to do is jump back over into Minecraft, load that world up again, and we should be able 
to see this stuff. So let's reload this world. It's going to come up with this stuff. We're going to click proceed. And then now we wait for it to load. All right, so now that it's loaded, what we're going to do is run this command. And this is going to be the tell all if it worked. We're going to do locate and then structure. And then we are going to look for epic villages cherry. That's a good sign right there. It popped up. So when we do that and run enter, we should get a location that pops up. There it is. So what we do is then just uh, hit T or whatever to open up your text and then just click on that to teleport and click enter. Um, I might be in ground because I didn't put myself with any uh, height there, but we can just kind of break up and hopefully we don't break into the center of our thing. But if we do, we do. All right. So here we are. We kind of did. And look, it naturally spawned within the world. Beautiful. So, I mean, some of the alterations that we could do here is uh, maybe add some structure void blocks around to make sure that, you know, this kind of stuff doesn't happen. This is kind of a strange spawn point, but uh, it looks like this is kind of a small little cherry blossom biome though grove whatever you want to call it so that that's another choice we could do stuff like that because we've got this floating uh dirt here as well the other thing though is if we do do that it's going to like cut into this tree and make this tree look all weird anyways but i guess in this case it would have already kind of cut this off because this is the edge here um so this tree probably would have gotten pretty much deleted this one would definitely kind of be looking looking kind of strange so i don't know that's kind of up to you if you would like to do that or not Again, like I said, you would just add some void blocks around here to kind of fill in the air space because when this does spawn, the void blocks get replaced with air. So, yeah, but uh, guys, it worked. It naturally spawned within our world. We didn't have to do anything and uh, it is amazing. So now we can actually start building the villages and stuff. And that tutorial is going to be in the preceding tutorial. So make sure that you subscribe, like a comment and uh, keep an eye out for that next one where we start messing with jigsaw blocks and actually start putting together an amazing cherry blossom village. So with all of that said, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please remember that you are appreciated. Be safe, be kind, and I will see you in the next one.